Hey guys, what's up? It's Cute Fuzzy Weasel, and I'm going to try and, and multitask a vlog here. Uh, this is Feeding the Trolls 95, something that I've got to get done today, because I have a feeling in the future that cancers related to stress will be worth money. So I just wanted to give my opinion on something that's been floating around since the whole YouTube censorship 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 advertiser friendly thing that's been going around and that is the idea that somehow this is going to kill youtube no it's not now i'm not saying that youtube might not be on its way out because nothing lasts forever i'm just saying that if youtube really started to go into decline there would be definite signs. You'd see a severe drop-off in new users, which probably won't happen because I think a YouTube account just comes with the territory of having a Gmail account now. You'd have a severe drop-off in content creators, though. People actually making videos, you'd start to see that slow down. You'd also see some kind of competition. Now, don't tell me about Dailymotion and the other video people, video websites out there. They're not... That's not really competition. Those are kind of little niche things here and there, but YouTube is like YouTube is like like a like a super organism. It takes a lot to take down a super organism. You know, like another super organism or a virus, which also won't happen because I think Google itself is sentient and I think it might be impervious to viruses. But then I think they might be using alien technology too. I mean, there's certainly no evidence that Google's headquarters aren't built atop the ruins of a massive alien mothership. I'm just asking questions. But seriously, I don't think these rule changes are going to hurt YouTube. I'll tell you what would hurt YouTube, though. I mean, if okay, if there was something to come along that could destroy YouTube in a day. I mean, like, well, not in a day, but I mean, basically overnight, essentially. And it would, it would, it would be something that they would never do this. They would never, ever do this. But here's what it would be. Having to pay to upload videos. That would be it. That would be the only way I could see YouTube just suddenly falling apart like a house of cards. And like I said, I, I really don't see that as plausible. I think if they were to ever even entertain the notion of that kind of idea, they might throw it out there in like a little bit of a blip like, hey, you guys are gonna have to uh, pay a subscription fee to have the version of YouTube that you upload videos for. And I think the backlash would be enough that whoever said that would be, like, integrated into one of Google's servers to act as an organic hard drive as punishment. We must appeal to Helios. That's what I think would happen, but I don't ever think they would ever do that. Slow burn, though, I think it's inevitable that one or two other companies will probably crop up within the next two or three years, like Netflix or maybe Facebook will get its act together and start offering a video service that would be like YouTube. We're never going to have the YouTube of 2007 back again. You're never going to have, like, go back to the way it was in 2008 or 2010. You just, it's not, you, that's just not how the internet's going to be in the future. Unless you personally get together with a bunch of other people and make a clone of that website, you're not going to get that, and it's not going to be as popular as YouTube was back then. But over time, I do think that websites will crop up, maybe with, like I said, within the next one to three years. Websites like Netflix and other, maybe, maybe Amazon will do something. These websites will come up, and they will act as a kind of competition for YouTube. And I think that's really what's hurting. I think that might actually be what's hurting YouTube right now. Because there is no competition. There's no incentive to make to make the service better with its users. A lot of incentive to make it better for advertisers. YouTube considers it much more important to dumb down the content so it's more appealing towards advertisers like Ty Lopez. Here in my office just got this new uh, pop filter right here. But you know what I like more than meteorological things? Your money. You see, it wasn't that long ago I was stranded on an island. Oh, what?
Uh, apparently that's not my backstory. It wasn't that long ago that I was trapped on a Borg ship. Oh, uh, that's not my backstory either. It wasn't that long ago I was tied to a bed. But with competition, maybe that would change. It would be a good thing. It's it's kind of like how, how it would be a good thing for the MCU if other superhero movies were successful. That's what I don't get about these people saying that Disney pays for the bad reviews of DC movies. Trust me, Disney would be far better off if DC was pumping out something that was like a challenge. With competition comes evolution. And if you had a like three or maybe four websites competing for users, then there's a lot of incentive there for the websites to make themselves more appealing towards users, to give them some options. Now, of course, there are downsides to that. Obviously, if you split up the YouTube audience a lot, you're going to end up with decreased revenues. And it's not strictly true that competition breeds, you know, innovation. It could be that these websites would crop up and then they'd all make internal deals with each other to all be shitty. Oh. Oh, that's what would happen, wouldn't it? I wish I wasn't a fucking cynic sometimes. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Believe it or not, I actually do read them. When the internet eventually does go down, comments are about the only things that'll load. And as always, have a good day.